for this one. Very similar body types. Who's got the power on the inside? Pino Hines trying to attack straight from the first whistle. And going with a beautiful underhook. Now digging double underhooks. He's going to try and lock right below the neck or try and get a step out point here. And a beautiful position by Urushanka where Pino Hines had him dead to rights on the edge of the mat and he was able to circle back in and almost get a step out a point for himself. You see, Mishanka walks that tight rope that you mentioned yesterday. Keeps himself back in the safe zone, away from the danger zone, that golden rim around the perimeter. These men, of course, going for bronze. 130 kilogram grouping, the first passivity warning against Rishanka in red. Red, no finger, okay? So, for many years, uh, Athletes and, and coaches and, and, and systems were teaching finger locks. It was almost like playing mercy. And uh, there was just so little scoring. So now the officials will say no fingers. You can't interlock fingers. You can't grab fingers. First of all, it's against the joint. Second of all, it just leads to very little scoring. And as you know from tonight, we don't see a whole lot of activity uh, in terms of technical scoring. Sure. But when, so, we, when we do see it, it's something, it's, something special. It is. And uh, and so those finger locks, now if you do it two times or three times, they say attention, and you do it again, they're going to give a caution against you. Yep, and it is that caution that makes the difference for Pino Hines. He deserves it, the Cuban. He's been the more aggressive. He's been trying to wrestle his way through. The underhook this time from Rishanka. Can he hold it? Well, not for very long. The Cuban marauding forward. Got that cat quick movement that belies their size. He does, but I, I'm a little bit irked right now. He came out like a ball of fire. Dug under hooks, pulled Rishenka to the edge of the mat, and now he's kind of resting on his laurels a little bit, and he's not going for a score as, as, as strong. Maybe it's a shape thing, or maybe it's a... He had a game plan that he was going to score right away. But now, looking for that arm drag and trying to cut the corner is Pino Hines. I just think he's taken a little step back from his uh, intensity that he had earlier. Yep, it's difficult, as you say. You get the game plan right, it works. It's easy to say from here, but don't change it. But the momentum has swung back a little bit for Rushjanka, to his credit. He's kept himself in this battle here, the Belarusian. Another passivity call against Rishenka. That's the third. Pino Hines does have one as well. But I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if early in the second period we see a second passivity call. I apologize for stepping on you there. No, no, no. It's quite all right, but stepping slightly into the lead was Pino Hines started, as you say, with great intensity. Trying to shake some of the lactic acid out of the muscles here. Does that work? I don't think for that short amount of time, but again, some psychological tool. You know, so when all the lights are on and we have four mats going, there's a certain uh, level of, I'm not going to say fear, but, but you know, there's that anxiety, exhaust, anxiety and, the, and the heightened anxiety. Imagine lights are off and you're in the middle of the mat with, you know, Eight, nine thousand people in the crowd cheering for you or cheering against you. That level of anxiety just it makes you more tired. Absolutely, the emotional energy empties the tank quicker than anything else. So we always talk about athletes that can do it in training, but when it comes to the big stage under the the lights and the cameras, you've got to have that composure. Rishanka was certainly trying to wrestle the momentum back in his favour here. The man from Belarus. And another passivity call against Rishanka. So two points on the board for Pino Hines. Rishanka falling further behind. Can the Cuban keep the foot on the gas here this time? Lots of time left. Rishanka though, perhaps running out of ideas. Needs to find something in the last couple of minutes here. Now he has a look this time. Yep. 
So not only did Roshanka get one point there, uh, I'm sorry, Roshanka get another passivity point, but Pino Hines also got a step out point. So Roshanka stepped out, Hines got the point, right? Plus the passivity. Roshanka got a passivity point because they, they hit Pino Hines with his second. So with a minute and 30 left, order is restored. Cuba's Pino Hines has that lead. Two point gap. Well, a takedown right, for Roshanka. Easy to see. Can he find something here? Where do you attack Pino Hines? He's a huge person. His hips uh, are almost up to the waist. I mean, are almost up to the chest of Roshanka. Trying to get to his hips is going to be very difficult. Trying to attack his head when it's that much taller than you is difficult as well. But it's such an amazing thing about combat sport and wrestling. It's can you turn your opponent's strengths into weaknesses? Can you turn it against them? Clearly, Roshanka not been able to do that at the moment because Pino Hines, a big man, but a very small target. No mistakes from the Cubans so far. Into the business end now. Last 40. At this point, like we talked earlier, the referee is going to put that whistle away. He's not going to make any more calls. So, Roshanka is going to have to do this on his own. He's got just about 20 seconds left to do something. The Belarusian chipping and charging, trying to push down the stretch here. The Cuban, Pino Hines. Well, he would have come for gold. But in his World Championship breakout debut, can he go away with the bronze here? Into the last 10 seconds, the Cuban killing the clock and killing the ambitions of Roshanka. The Belarusian shoots for it, but gives up exhausted. Elation for the Cuban. A well deserved bronze. Absolutely. Now the official did offer a, a caution and two against Pino Hines in the last eight seconds of the match. There would have been uh, some whistles in the crowd if that had not occurred. And I would have been uh, they on my face saying that they were going to put the whistle away and not make any more calls. Uh, but, you know, Pino Hines, well deserved. And he's been the number two man for a long time. And it's his time to shine. He was the... Uh, Pan American Games champion this year and, and did an amazing job.